going on guys? JD, JD's Custom Buggies. Uh, gonna continue the whole build video thing. We have another one in here. It's a, a candy. I don't know the model number of it. Um, I've seen it listed a couple different ways, but it's a candy 150. It's got a little hood that goes here. It's a newer model. I uh, probably noticed them at one of the trade shows, I think back in 2014. So, roughly a five, six year old model. Uh, it is a 150. Uh, this is the number 28, Babel Espinoza, and the Sun Jose in the youth class. Uh, first race was at Florida Cycle Park two weeks ago. We noticed because it was the first time he had actually had it out of the track. We built a new motor for it, so it didn't lack speed, but it handled like hell. Um, had wicked bump steer, and what was odd about it was it didn't tow in. It, you squatted down on it, it would tow out. If you lifted up on it, it would tow out. At one point during the first race, I broke down and had an opportunity to watch guys go by and seeing Abel hit a jump, and as soon as he hit the jump, both wheels just went like this. And apparently it was enough of a handful that he just had a hard time uh, negotiating his way through the track. So didn't have quite the finish we were hoping for. So we had discussed it at the track, and. Uh, looked at it there and talked about maybe doing something different with the front end. Uh, so he brought it in. At this point, where we're at right now is we got rid of the old front end. You can see it here on the floor, uh, most of it. And uh, it's just a bad design. <laughs> I've never seen a racket pinion quite so long before. Um, but the way, what was odd is usually where the rack is mounted causes some bumps here. With this particular buggy, with just the arms and the spindle on as you raise them and lower them, they just want to kick back. So it would give it a tow out situation. So as far as right now, I haven't cut anything on this buggy yet. That's about to go down. We're going to cut these two legs off, get everything out of the way and probably going to cut these two legs off back here where the rear mounts are for the arms. And so far, as far as I've gotten, last night I started this, which is basically a frame. This is going to be my front arm mounts, and the rack mounts are already here. I uh, decided instead of building it on the buggy that I would build something at least to get me started. I could drop in. So notice these two holes here I centered my rack and my pivot points and mounted you know made the mount for the rack while it was on the vise kind of worked out so once these are all cut away I'm going to drop this out place it where I want it I want to give myself enough space for the rack because this front bumper section is actually welded on it's not like a crossfire or anything else where you can just bolt the bumper off this is actually part of the buggy I'm going to try not to disturb this because of the the steel mesh grill and whatnot, so it's all going to get mounted behind. Uh, you can see where these two legs are, they're just right in the way of where I want to be. And I'm not quite sure yet as far as the wheelbase. At first, uh, we were thinking, you know, the further up it is, the more it's going to lengthen the wheelbase, obviously. But because of the way these arms are mounted, or these arms are made, where it sets here, your front wheels, your, your spindles are actually mounted back here. Where I'm thinking is, where I place this, is it's actually going to give it about two inches of, or an inch of a wheelbase extra, which hopefully will help it. Um, trying to think if there's any. That's about as far as I've gotten so far. Once I place this thing where I want it, Get the rack. The other situation has got to be this because that rack opinion, the steering shaft just had a coupler that goes right to the rack. So there's really nothing fastening here to the, to the dashboard section. What fastened this rack or kept or fastened the steering rod and what kept it in place was the rack opinion itself. Well, that's all going to have to change. So I don't know how I'm going to do this yet. Obviously, we want to place the steering wheel back in the same spot. And it's going to have to come down here, but I need to develop a way or figure out a way how I want to lock this down 
and then we're going to use a couple of U-joints to get it down to the center uh, where the racks are going to be mounted. So that's something else that I've got to come up with. I don't know if I'm going to manipulate this or modify this or, or try and find parts from something else to, to make it work uh, or possibly just make my own steering shaft. So that's the other thing I have to kind of figure out. Uh, other than this, I'm hoping it goes straight forward because we have two weeks to the next race at Bartow. It's uh, part of the I4MX series, so I believe it's going to be round. I know it's round two for us, but we're, we're uh, running a couple of uh, races in the north region and the south region. So, um, what's this? It's four. Round I think four. it's round four. I believe. The south? Yes. No, there's no more races between here and there. Oh, there's not? No. Okay, sorry. Shut up, cameraman. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just to give you an idea of what the goal is here. Everybody recognize um, this guy, number 22. Man, that's a sexy buggy. It is a sexy buggy. So what we're going for is this. We've got no bumps there in this. And that's pretty perfect. No matter how I push, these wheels are staying pretty much straight. Not much camber change and definitely no toe change. So that's kind of where we want to be with this. Um, this buggy actually performed damn well first race, uh, got two straight second place finishes. So right now that's the point leader as far as the buggies are concerned. So that's one that everybody's going to be gunning for this next race. So it should be interesting. Um, you will be able to catch the next race at Bartow. Uh, I'll be posting links on Facebook, but uh, nationalsportsbroadcasting.com. If you go there, there should be a link for the Kenny uh, Yoho I4 MX series. Uh, the race usually runs all day, so it'll be a good seven, eight hour uh, deal. Uh, but you, uh, it's great to have uh, commentating. It looks like a real sports event. Uh, feels like a real sports event watching the video back. And then within a day or two, it'll be on YouTube. So you can just kind of watch it to your heart's content, try and pick out the buggy races. Uh, let us know how you feel about it. Uh, Jay's Custom Buggies at Facebook. There's a Jay's Custom Buggies YouTube uh, channel. This video will end up there, so will other race videos. So uh, until next time, see ya.